Hey guys, welcome back to Splash Attack. So I finally went to Target and got my hands on some Rivals of Ixalan products. And as you can see, I also got a pack of Iconic Masters. Now the story behind this is I searched all three like major targets in my in New York City and um they're they don't have any magic products. What's going on? Are you guys experiencing this at all? Because I've I used to see a lot of fat packs and like just different products, but now they're all disappearing. None of the targets are carrying any. So let me know in the comment section below if you guys know anything about this. Is Wizards of the Coast and the Pokemon Company deciding to pull all their items off the shelves and no longer sell to big retailers? I don't know what's going on, but this is all that I found. I was hoping to pick up a Raska um, Scheming Gorg Gorgon right but they didn't have so i picked up both angraf minotaur pirate and then they had a random pack of these so i bought it anyway just so i can have more stuff to open yeah so i'm gonna open this one first and i'm gonna save these two for the next video all right so this is angraf's minotaur pirate he looks super cool let's do a close-up maybe i should just open it first before so this comes with a ready to play 60 card deck not that great probably two rivals of ixalan 15 card booster packs that's what we're most excited for a deck box strategy insert and magic quick reference so let's get this opened up uh oh i ripped it pretty bad jeez they should have like a tab somewhere or something so it's easier to open up oh i didn't rip it this was already this was always just ripped open all right cool well we'll go ahead and open this up and take it out put that there please don't be messed up oh wow this is actually like the the best condition planeswalker if i've gotten out of one of these it's not warping like all the other ones so it's just this yeah it's gonna warp that's how planeswalkers go for these these kinds of let's get it into a sleeve so that it could reduce or minimize the amount of warping that's gonna happen. So let me get into the sleeve. Alright, cool. Let's see. So it's uh one swamp, one mountain, and then four others. So it costs six, and it's a legendary planeswalker mythic. And for his plus two, Angraf Minotaur Private deals. Pirate deals one damage to target opponent and each creature that player controls. Okay. His minus three is return target pirate card from your graveyard to the battlefield. That's pretty cool. And then his ultimate is destroy all creature target opponent controls. Destroy all creatures target opponent control. I'm still getting used to the wording for magic. Angraf's Minotaur Pirate deals damage to that player equal to their total power. Holy cow, that's a pretty good finisher. I, th I think I wouldn't know <laughs> all right so this is like a bull a bull pirate or a bison pirate I kind of like the red pretty cool reminds me of um that girl that girl mythic she uses fire and a lot of people like her all right so these two beautiful packs and then we have this thing in the front so quick reference we've all seen that many times before so let's take a quick look at the poster angers minotaur anger free angrath Re rebels in battle and conquest he has no interest in easy victories but when he finds a worthy opponent he savors every blow exchange until he stands triumphant Angraf charges mercilessly through the ranks of his foes and plunders their valuables wow why is it showing this? It should show like a um a deck builder's toolkit for rivals of Ixalan, not Ixalan. Come on guys, you could do better. Don't waste all that printing ink for an older product. Okay, so let's check out this deck. All right, sweet. So first off, first up we have Repeating Barrage. Repeating Barrage deals three damage to target creature or player, raid, blah, blah, blah. You guys can pause the video and see the rest. So we have Ang Ang Angraf's Fury. Destroy target creature, Angraf's Fury deals three damage to target player. You may search your library or 
graveyard for a card named Amber's Minotaur Review It. Yep, so this is the card that they include so that you can f search out and find your Planeswalker. These cards are always cool. And then Vanquisher's Banner. As Vanquisher's Banner enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Creatures you control of that chosen type gets plus one, plus one. Wow, this is awesome. Daring Buscaneer. Goblin Trailblazer. Headstrong Brute. Goblin Trailblazer, Headstrong Brute. Swarm Fleet Pyromancer. Swab Goblin. More Swab Goblins. Wow, there's four of them. Swaggering Con... Concierge? Concierge? Yeah, Corsier, sorry. And grabs Ambusher. And grabs Ambusher gets plus two, plus zero. As long as you control Andros Planeswalker. There's always one of these cards that gets boosted when you have the Planeswalker from that deck. Phantom Fleet Border. Okay. Phantom Fleet, Fleet Border. Um, Enters the battlefield. You lose two life unless you control another pirate. Wow. Costly. Phantom Fleet Cutthroat. Wow. Grasping Scoundrel. Dire Fleet Captain, Dire Fleet Captain, Dire Fleet Netbreaker, Gilded Sentinel. Ooh, Cinder Barons. Mountain, got a bunch of lands, blah, blah, blah. Ooh, these lands look pretty cool. Swamp, very nice. Yes, Lightning Strike, these are great. Okay, so there's Sure Strike. Target creature gets plus three, plus zero, and gains... First strike until the end of the turn. That's very nice. Whoa, okay, let's see what's going on here because this is just one giant blob. Let's check it out, guys. What's going on here? You see this? Ooh. Why is this so sticky? Weird stuff. What the heck? They're all stuck together. I don't even want to know who packaged these and why they're like this. Oh, gosh. That's insane. Did you guys see that? Cards were stuck together and now it's kind of ruined. Jeez. Good job, Wizards of the Coast. Hope you guys saw the company in 2011. I mean, 2021. Right. Destroy target creature already. Well, that was an interesting way to reveal the last card. It got messed up. So, this is the deck. We'll put it in the deck box. For later. Oh gosh. You know, they could have used plastic. That could have been a pretty good and sturdy way to go about it. Oh wow, look at this. We're opening our first Rivals of Ixalan Boosters. So, I'm gonna start off with, no, I'm gonna finish off with Angraf and we're gonna use this guy. We're gonna start off. So, our first pack opening ever of Rivals of Ixalan. Wish me luck, guys. So apparently the chase card in this in this uh set is that merman thing, right? So let's see if we what we can pull from this. Oh okay. I think we got one, two, three to the front. Oh wow. <laughs> well that was it was two to the front, but yeah, this is the thing that we got in this world shaper. So let's see. We have this, number two, Swaggering Corsair, Legion Conquistador, Sea Legs, Dusk Legion Zealot, Hardy Veteran, Dinosaur Hunter. Whenever a Dinosaur Hunter deals damage to a dinosaur, destroy that creature. Oh, that's not a good, that's not a good thing. Well, I play dinosaurs, so that's not a good thing for me. Jungle Born Pioneer, Gruesome Fate. Dead Eye Rig Homer. Okay. So our first uncommon is Curious Obsession. Our next one is Sea Red. <laughs> and then Ravenous Chukacabra. Chuka Chupacabra. Yep. So that first pack was alright. We got a Merfolk. Last pack magic, guys. Wish me luck. Let's get this focused in. Alright. I'm going to do it right this time so that I don't reveal the card right away. Did their packaging get better? I mean, this was super easy to open without like breaking the pack the 
packaging and stuff. So let's do it. One, two. All right, so we have planes. Dinosaur token. That's great. I need these. Sanguine Glorifier. Crashing Tide. Stampeding Horncrest. Stampeding Horncrest has haste as long as you control another dinosaur. Nice. Moment of Craving. Neutralize. Neutralize. Dust Legion we want. Dark Inquiry. Soul of Rapids. Evolving Wilds. Looks very nice. I like the art on that. Bombard. I think we're going to get up to our uncommon. So our first uncommon is Hornwoggle. Coming up next, Charging Tuscadon. Trample. If Charging Tuscadon would deal combat damage to a player, it deals double that damage. That Ooh, very nice. Okay. So, Arterial Flow. That looks pretty crazy. And... Oh my goodness, we got a Planeswalker. Holy cow. So we got a Hotly Radiant Champion Planeswalker. Very nice. So this is a rather fragile Planeswalker. So let's see what you got. Plus, put for her plus one, it's put a loyalty counter on Hotly Radiant Champion for each creature you control. That's cool. Her negative, her minus one is target creature, creature gets plus X. Plus X until end of turn, where X is the number of creatures you control. And then her ultimate is, you get an emblem with whenever a creature... You get an emblem with whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may draw a card. Wow, that's great. Okay, so let's get this sleeved up, because this is awesome. I keep pulling Hollies. Very nice. Not complaining. Holy cow, that was pretty sweet. So, two planeswalkers from one planeswalker box. I like it. I'm so glad I pulled the planeswalker. You know, guys, I wanted to run a gruel. A gruel? Yeah, I think that's how you say it. G R U U L. Right? I wanted to run a red green deck for dinosaurs, but I keep pulling all these different Hotleys. It's like, it's hinting at me to play a tricolor deck where it's red, green, and white. So let me know what you guys think. I don't know how I feel about playing Splash since I don't know how to play Magic exactly. So I'm still learning. Maybe in the future I will, but I definitely have a lot of dinosaur related cards for, you know, to play dinosaur. I, apparently she doesn't get dinosaurs any boost in this in this version. So it's not the biggest deal. But thank you guys so much for watching and tune in for the next video when I open up the second one and when I open up Iconic Masters for that mana drain. Just kidding. A foil mana drain. Seriously. Alright guys. See you in the next one. Bye.